age-related macular degeneration is an eye condition that affects your central vision, which is what you can see directly in front of you. It affects the macula, which is the central part of the retina. AMD is a common disease and in fact is the single largest cause of sight loss in the UK, affecting more than 650,000 people. And up to half of those people will experience visual hallucinations at some point. This is known as Charles Bonnet syndrome. Many people who experience hallucinations due to Charles Bonnet syndrome worry that this may be a symptom of dementia or other mental health conditions, but it is important to understand that these hallucinations are completely natural. Some people see shapes or grids, others see faces which are often distorted. Still, others have very complex hallucinations of people, landscapes or machinery. These can appear in many different ways. Visual hallucinations are also more likely to be experienced if both of your eyes have been affected by sight loss. There are a number of helpful exercises to consider which may help hallucinations to disappear. It is recommended to use eye movements to lessen hallucination impact and length. Eye movements activate visual parts of the brain in people with macular disease even if they have little remaining vision. These movements can sometimes stop the hallucinations. Another practical tip is to look at two points a meter apart on a wall a meter in front of you. Look from one point to the other once a second for 15 to 30 seconds. Keep your head still and hold your eyes open during these movements. You can also try to shut your eyes and look away from an image you might see in order to help it disappear. Try to adjust the ambient lighting condition in a room if it is too bright or too dark. Do so by either turning on the lights if it is too dark or by finding a way to reduce light in the room if it is too bright. If it is dark, try switching on the lights in the room or do something else to alter what it is you are focusing on. It's also helpful to know that for most people, these hallucinations do improve over time. For lots of people, realizing that it is normal to experience this is already a significant relief. Some people may still find that living with these hallucinations is difficult and distressing. In this case, counseling can be effective and strategies can be developed to help cope with the experience. While you may find these hallucinations to be frightening or inconvenient, they are not a cause for concern. If your hallucinations include any other sense, such as sound or touch, or you find yourself becoming more forgetful, you should consult a doctor. Visual hallucinations are a common result of eye diseases such as AMD, and there is a lot of information available to you on living with macular disease and the visual hallucinations that come with it. A few practical steps and knowing what to expect with visual hallucinations can help lessen their impact on your day-to-day -day life. Visit the Macular Society website or YouTube channel for more helpful and practical information on general eye health. You can also join the Macular Society for regular updates on research into AMD, new therapies that become available, and information on how to live well while managing AMD.